今のメンバーをどう当てるべきかまずは城周辺の守りをいやこれ何待ち助けを求めてる奴らがいるのは十分分かった俺はもう行くアスタどこに行くつもりなのだまだ状況を把握しきれてないしそれにお前は魔力の感知が全くできんのだろう音のでかい方に行くど、動物かお前は Hey everybody, welcome to another lesson of learning Japanese. Today we're gonna be covering another anime line of the day with the show Black Clover. We're gonna be taking a line from the 21st episode of this show, and the line that we will be covering is going to translate to basically the only thing I need to know is that there are people who need help. So this is a line that's loaded with a decent amount of context. Basically, the situation here is that we got a bunch of characters who are knights who Uh, protect the people, and a terrorist attack has just、uh, broken out. And the knights here are kind of dawdling and trying to strategize on what to do、um, best or most efficiently. But the main character, in a very main character like fashion, says, All I need to know is that there are people out there who need my help, so I'm gonna go now. And he says, He just starts running off. So let's、uh, analyze that line that poignantly. Uh, portrays his heroism. In Japanese, that's gonna read Tasuke o motomete ru yatsura ga iru no wa jubun wa gatta. Ore wa mo iku. Tasuke o motomete ru yatsura ga iru no wa jubun wa gatta. Ore wa mo iku! Asta! And so now, of course, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this line down word by word and elaborate on the grammar patterns being used here, what elements of the sentence are kind of not applicable to real life because they're too anime esque, and、um, how. We can probably modify it to express something that you would express in everyday conversation. So, first up at the beginning of the sign, we're gonna have the noun, which is tuske, and this is gonna translate to basically help or assistance. It is basically just the noun form of the verb, taskeru, and that's gonna translate to to help someone or to give someone assistance. And these are both、uh, very common words, so、uh, definitely worth remembering them. We're gonna mark that noun, taske, as the、uh, direct object with the direct object marker O right after it. And so, because it's a direct object now, that obviously means there's gonna be a verb action、um, acted upon it, and that is going to be the verb motomeru. And this is gonna translate to to、um, request or To seek or to want. So, taske o motomeru is going to be basically to ask help, basically, to request for help. It is going to be conjugated here into the te form, which is the connective form.、Uh, then we're going to add the helping verb of sorts, iru, to mean basically you're doing that、um, verb ongoing or continuously. So, am. Um, asking or am requesting. Motomete iru. However, we're gonna do now something that's kind of slangish to the iru in motomete iru. We're gonna drop the e in iru so it becomes motomete iru, and this is gonna be kind of a more casual slangish way of saying that because,、um, yeah, our character here is the main character of an anime, so he kind of talks that way. Right after that is another word that's indicative of. Uh, anime talk, and you shouldn't use in real life, which is the word yatsu, which is gonna translate to basically they or those people, those guys. It's being used as a plural noun here, so、um, yeah, plural, multiple people, those guys, they,、um, and the thing that's making it into the plural is the ra right after it, so yatsura. And yeah, again, this is、uh, not a word that you should really use to refer to people in real life because it is a bit rude. In any case, that noun right there, yatsura, is going to be acting as the subject. Uh, as you can see with the particle ga marking it as so. And then we're simply just gonna use the existential phrase iru, which means basically to be. So, so those people are being, or just there are those people. So that wording is kind of weird, but when we combine it with the part right before that that we covered, taske o motomete iru, that's gonna be basically there are people asking for help. And that's much more natural sounding. And one last thing that we're gonna do to this kind of clause right here is we're now gonna basically turn it into a noun. You can see with that character no right after ga iru, that's basically nominalizing the whole thing. So as opposed to basically there are people who are asking for help, it's gonna translate to basically that there are people asking for help. So that's basically a noun now, and we can mark it with the topic particle wa. And、uh, following that is just gonna be jubun wakata. Jubun is being used as an adverb here, and it's gonna translate to basically enough, or plenty, or sufficiently, adequately, something along those lines. And it's gonna be using as an adverb again, so it's gonna be modifying the verb right after it, which we have right here is wakaru in its past form. Wakaru means basically to understand, so wakata is just,、um, just saying have understood. So jubun wakata is gonna basically be. Understand enough sufficiently. I already get the idea, or I already know 
I know all I need to know. And so if we combine that with the first part of the sentence, Taske o motomete iru yatsura ga iru no wa, that's going to translate to basically that there are people who are asking for help is enough for me to understand basically. Uh, then the second sentence in this line is kind of just, um, it's not too essential, but it's just going to translate to I'm going to go off now. Ore wa mo iku, so I'm heading out now already. So while you're not likely to be as heroic as the main character Asta here in your real life, I'm assuming, and you won't be saying something like this, oh, there's people in need of help, so I'm gonna go save them. This line right here is easily uh, modifiable to say other things. So like I said, while we were covering it, the things that you won't want to repeat is the usage of Yatsura right there to mean those people, those guys, it can be pretty rude to say that to, to refer to some people. Uh, then the uh, casualization of the te form plus iru to just te form plus ru. It's something that you would be able to do in um, conversations where you're talking with friends and whatnot, but um, for the most part, you wouldn't want to make it that casual. But moving on to the actual construction of the sentence, it's basically just nominalizing um, a verb phrase to say that it's enough to make me understand what to do. So there's essentially an infinite number of different things you could say using this construction like um, that she's crying is enough for me to understand or that you haven't gotten ready yet is enough for me to understand that you don't want to go or something or uh, anything like that basically. So the last thing that we'll do here of course is to review the grammar patterns that we came across in this sentence, this line. First up we had the uh, te form plus iru, again that's going to mean basically ongoing action, am doing the verb or is doing the verb. We had the nominalization of a verb phrase basically with that uh, no right after the uh, verb iru. We could have also used koto, and then we mark that noun as the topic with the wa there. And then lastly, we use the uh, past plain form of a verb with wakaru turning into wakata, and that's just basically, yeah, expressing it that it is the past form and it's plain as opposed to uh, polite. So there you go. Um, Taske o motomete iru yatsura ga iru no wa jubun wakata. And this is gonna translate to the only thing I need to know is uh, that there are people out there asking for help and that's kind of our naturalization of the translation um, that is suited for this context where the characters here are knights who serve the uh, people and protect them so with that context and clue in mind do your best to analyze the bonus line that we're going to provide with this <laughs> Alright, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Anime Line of the Day. Remember, if there were grammar patterns mentioned for this line, they'll be mentioned in the description or the pinned comment below with links to the individual lessons on them. You can also probably find them in the playlist of our complete grammar video series shown on the screen right here alongside our anime playlist. And last but not least, don't forget to try to translate the bonus line we provided. Leave your translation in a comment below. Check out our Patreon, like the video, and subscribe. With all that said and done, see you next time.